The Computer Center for Visually Impaired People at Baruch College, City University of New York, product demonstration. Hi, we're here with another technology demo, and today we'll be showing you the Colorino Color Identifier. Take it away, Gus. Thanks, Lynn. You're welcome. So the color identifier, base, it's very basic, right? It, has, it identifies colors, and what it looks like is a little remote control. It only has two buttons on it. There's a yellow button that's further away from the sensor and a red button that's closer to the sensor. And by sensor, I mean, you know, like just like on a remote control, there's a little nub at the front that, that senses light or color or whatever it is. So the yellow button on this device is actually, um, it works as a light sensor. So depending on the light, um, the volume of light that's in front of it, it'll give different sounds. So if there's no light, it'll sound like this. And then as you get into more intensive light, the pitch will go higher and higher, and I'll show you that. Right? And where this is helpful is, you know, let's say so you're, if it's somebody who's completely blind and doesn't know, but they're having guests over. They might want to check to see that their light fixtures are working. Mm -hmm. um, they might want to, you may, it also, I've, I've used it walking down a corridor and it notices the light change when there's a door in front of it. So that it's, it, it helps identify as you're moving through different spaces. So it's very helpful in that manner. Then the other function, which is the main function of the Colorino, is to identify colors. And, you know, where, where this comes in handy for, for most of us is in identifying the colors of the clothing we're wearing. So I want to see right. what color my sweater is today. Hopefully it's the right color. Red. Ah, yes. Yeah. So it said my, my sweater's red, and now we're going to test Lynette's. Yes. Okay, let's see what. Pale yellow. Nice. So, and we've noticed that, over, that uh, as we've used it on different colors and different items, we don't always get the most accurate reading. No. But I'm going to try it. <laughs> Here I'm going to do on different colors. I have uh, four different colors of paper in front of me, and I'm going to try to identify each color. Pale pink. Okay. So this is a pink piece of paper, um, and it did pretty well with that. This is a light yellow, which is um, different from yeah, the yellow that Lynette yellow. has, but it still identified it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if it does this next one. Intensive pink. This is a red piece of paper, and it <gasps> calls it intensive pink, Well, which I guess you could say red is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that's, not a definitely, that's definitely not an accurate reading. Right. Okay, and then we're going to do one more. Light green. And again, this is a more like a, a standard green color and it called it light green. So it doesn't always do very well with every color, but it, it stays pretty close in, in every like uh, family. Um, the only time I've noticed that it's had any difficulties with really dark colors like navy and brown yes. and black um, and gray, like really dark colors, it'll probably most always identify them as black or gray. And it identified my blue jeans as green. Yes. So. So, the, so it, it does work, um, it doesn't always work great. Right. Um, where this can be bought from, again, this is a device that's available at, through MaxiAids. I believe it's uh, priced at about $200 right now, but I could be wrong about that. And okay. for more information, you can go to the MaxiAids website. So thanks again for coming, for joining us, and we will be back soon. The CCVIP demos are funded in part by the Aileen Royce Memorial Trust, New York Community Trust, and Reader's Digest Partners for Sight Foundation. Visit us at www.baruch.cuny.edu slash ccvip.